Guys, I meant to cover it Monday. I meant to cover it yesterday. Will you pull me the mainstream news article about the new light bulbs that uh, are going to have computer signals going through them, basically programming and interfacing with your computer, and the other patent number article uh, dealing with the admission that not only does the flicker rate on TV put you into a mesmerized, hypnotized, highly suggestible state, but that not only propaganda messages can be on what's being said on TV, that's one level of propaganda, and the flicker rate puts you in that, suge in that suggestible state, but that the that actual data uh, that 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 they can put signals in the flicker that can make you sick, make you angry, make you happy. This is mind control. You know, a hundred years ago, how would a uh, hypnotist um, hypnotize you? You know, they do it by having you watch a flashing light or a watch. Well, this is 21st century versions of that. You know, Watch the watch. Listen to me. Do what I say. You know, for those of you out there tuning in for the first time who are hearing this and laughing at what I'm saying, let me just give you a few examples of what I'm talking about. Then I'll get into what's happening in North Africa and the Middle East and what's happening with the economy. Uh, here is... Yeah, this is good, but there's, there's one other. There's the actual article on this patent. Uh, there's one more article I need, guys. Uh, the, yeah, thank you. Uh, the actual article about the patent. Uh, but uh, here's the patent. It's patent 6-506-148, and it's at the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, current U.S. class, current international class, and it's got its coded uh, larger number there, U.S. patent document. Uh, this is... Uh, from January 14th, 2003. And this is just one of countless patent documents uh, that are out there dealing with this. And it's titled Nervous System Manipulation by Electromagnetic Fields from Monitors. Psychological effects have been observed in human subjects in response to stimulation of the skin with weak magnetic fields that are pulsed with a certain frequency near the 1.5 hertz to 2.4 hertz, such as to excite a sensory resonance. Many computer monitors and TV tubes, when displaying pulsed images, emit pulse electromagnetic fields of sufficient amplitudes to cause such excitation. It is therefore possible to manipulate the nervous system of a subject by pulsing images displayed on a nearby computer monitor or TV set for the latter. The image pulsing may be embedded in the program material. Did you hear that on the actual video that they're feeding into it? You know, the original signal, or it may be overlaid by modulating a video stream, either with an RF signal or as a video signal. The image displayed on the computer monitor may be pulsed effectively by a simple computer program for certain monitors, pulsed le electromagnetic fields capable of exciting sensory resonances in nearby subjects may be generated even as the display images are pulsed with a subliminal intensity. That means you don't know about it or notice it. And here's an article about it. Uh, patent, nervous system manipulation from TV monitors. Now, we've had Dr. Nick Begich, whose brother is also a U.S. senator, his father, a former congressman who was murdered. Uh, but uh, side issue, um, Dr. Nick Begich has, has always tried to explain to me, Alex, yes, they admit they want to put lithium in the water to calm us. And now that's mainstream news. Even Fox News reports how great it's going to be to have lithium in our water and how Japan's moving to do it and how sodium fluoride also brain damages you and calms you and makes you servile and lowers your IQ. But he said that's child's play compared to the thousands of patents, most of them U.S. government, dealing with electromagnetics through cell towers, through TV towers, uh, through uh, cell phones, where they can modulate and make you throw up, make you become giddy, make you uh, have an aphrodisiac, make you die, make you have a heart attack. And I remember close to 10 years ago, the Baltimore Sun, somebody ought to research it and pull it up, I forget the exact headline, but it was... DARPA looking at ways to calm the public during riots. They're not just looking at sound cannons or microwave guns. Now those are rolled out at the Tea Party, as you've seen. I was kooky to cover it 10 years ago. Now it's mainstream news, and it's being used against us. 
But they said they're also getting ready to deploy towers that put off a magnetic resonance that will calm people during emergencies. So we're here, 2011. Now, you read this patent, and I spent an hour or so trying to read just one of these patents where they d describe how it's all been tested and how it works. And you better believe uh, shopping malls, it's come out in the news. There's so much proof. It's like an ocean of proof. You, uh, you've seen the news reports about how shopping malls put out, quote, subliminal audio at such a low level, your conscious brain doesn't, you know, really, the conscious part of your mind doesn't pick it up, but it's soothing statements and soothing frequencies and, 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 and so, you know, to, ma and to make you feel good and want to buy more junk. Um, it's, it's, it's famous for the casinos giving people free drinks and pumping in oxygen and keeping it, 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 it cold so you don't get sleepy. You ever been in a warm room? It, it, it makes you get sleepy. I mean, that, that stuff the gangsters were doing 50, 60 years ago. Or if you go back to the 1940s, uh, there's, they teach this in you know, RTF in your first course about subliminal messaging. Then you tell the public there's subliminal messaging, they laugh at you because they've been told it doesn't exist. But then you go take RTF, they admit it. Some of the first were in the 40s where they would show a desert <clears throat> scene uh, before the movie and then just flash subliminal, quick images of a Coca-Cola with water dripping down it, ice cold. Or hot dogs and, 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 and uh, popcorn and saying, you're hungry, you're hungry. Because if you're not really hungry and you consciously see an ad for popcorn, you may not want it. But your bestial kind of uh, you know, lower brain centers of breathing and procreation and eating and things like that, it's like, I'm always hungry. Like a dog will eat and eat and eat till it throws up, and then it'll go after the throw up. So it's kind of hitting that lower area. Well, hungry. You're not really hungry, but hungry. I'm hungry. And they put additives in the food, uh, which, uh, I mean, they admit MSG does that. It blocks the area of the brain, knowing that you've already gotten enough food. It, it blocks the brain picking up on how much insulin is there. So you go eat more, 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 more. Aspartame does that. You ever seen how many super obese people always have a Diet Coke in their hand or a Diet Pepsi? And it's also very toxic and addicting. So this is all pharmacia designed and hidden, but now they're moving to the pulsing lights. Now, you know, uh, we've seen continuity of agenda. Australia, England, the EU, many Arab nations, many Eastern European nations, Latin American nations, under international push from the UN, First, they do something that sounds reasonable. Oh, let's start banning smoking outdoors worldwide. Then they have cities, counties, states do it. But it's all really UN run. It's called Agenda 21. Now let's have a global move in all these countries to ban high flush toilets. So they set the precedent that they set the rules because they have the moral authority. Then, oh, you've got to put in these expensive light bulbs that if one breaks or cracks, uh, that you've got to call a hazmat team, open the windows, and, and leave your house for three days. I mean, that's admitted. And then we start seeing all these major medical reports about people getting headaches, people getting sick, pe young people starting to have strokes. You've seen that in the news. Just all the, uh, uh, in, uh, in Japan six, seven years ago, they had a Pokemon episode and tens of thousands of children went into convulsions and they admitted, yes, the, we, we did a test with the flashing on the screen. Uh, sorry, we've removed it. Tens of thousands of kids, one episode all over Japan, flopping around, uh, foaming at the mouth. I mean, full on, some of them broke bones. Some of them dislocated because, I mean, they were having violent seizures. Now, now this is all on record. Everything I've said, you can go look up and pull up. Now, remember a few months ago, we started covering this. My bright idea, light bulbs can be used to transmit data with a device you can buy at any high street uh, Professor Harold Haas is perfecting a revolutionary method of controlling digital information with the flick of a switch. Now, um, this article came out last year. Now, since then, I have another article that just came out a few uh, months ago. And this is out of the Associated Press. Ceiling lights in Minnesota send coded Internet data. Where are they testing it? In state government buildings. Now, again, by law, within a year and a half, you're not going to be able to buy phosphorescence. It's already phasing in with the higher wattage bulbs this year.
can't have the phosphorescent, that good yellow white light that mimics the sun, that mimics firelight, candlelight that our eyes are designed for. No, you've got to have the fluorescent. And I've got the articles here about all the sicknesses they're causing. It's now confirmed. Five, six years ago, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. Shut up. It's good for you. All these people complaining, doctors doing studies, saying something's going on here. Now the federal government's coming in with grants at the police stations and all over the nation, not just Minnesota. Oh, we have special uh, fluorescent light bulbs that are going to communicate wirelessly with your computer. So they can now wirelessly program the computer how they want. But that's only one issue. They're flashing. And when you read the patents on these flashing lights that transmit data, it's actually a cover story. Just like the globalists in the Telecommunications Act of 96 said by 2001, October 1st, 2001, all cell phones must have a safety tracker chip in them where we can turn your phone on in an emergency to save you. Now we learn it's to spy on us. So it's always dual use. And it turns out that these light bulbs are at the same frequency modulation as these patents on mind control. So they're putting in mind control flashing lights. This is a fact. All over the country, in the first place is the government workers, police, social workers, health department people. You're going to let them do this. And, and they're going to put you in a trance. Then they're going to have the big Homeland Security telescreens everywhere telling you to watch your neighbors. Even if you try to turn the TV off, they're not going to let you get, get away. They're going to have their hypnotism machines beaming. Gu guaranteed. They've already been caught testing it over and over again. Janet Napolitano, you ever watch your kids? watch TV and they're drooling and you can't even get their attention. Hey, talk to me. I'm talking to you. Imagine people at Walmart checkout lines and at shopping malls and town squares, big jumbo screens going in, big, not just with a message of spy on your neighbor, but through the message, through the video, through the light. They can do it three ways, pumping you with stuff that they can kill you. They can make you have a heart attack with this if they want. They're putting in kill screens. If you are a new listener, I'm begging you to not believe a word I'm saying. There are subliminal messages all over mainstream television. There are subliminal messages, but there's not just messages when you're watching a cop drama and the bad guy is always some patriot who loves the Constitution and Bill of Rights and on the side he's trying to nerve gas people or homeschoolers are abusing their children. How many fictional shows do you see where they demonize gun owners? That's the overt propaganda and conditioning. But now the system, and there are literally thousands of patents, I just read to you one of these, where they admit that the flickering through light bulbs, the, uh, the, the uh, fluorescent light bulbs, the flickering through the television screens, especially the high-def TV, can have overlaid in the audio, video signal, uh, three different ways, I just read earlier, to literally cause physiological responses. Here's an ABC News article on the similar area. Cell phones increase brain activity, stirs fears amid new evidence. Cell phone cancer debate persist. February 22nd, 2011. I mean, this is just a few days ago. I mean, I see this stuff every day without looking. I read the medical journals. And after a few minutes of using a cell phone in the area uh, through your skull, the brain goes up by one degree. You're, it actually heats your brain up. Now, there's an urban legend where they claim it can you know, basically boil a, a, a egg, uh, a hard-boiled egg. That's, that's not true. So, see, then there's hoaxes out there that discredit the fact that it does do that. Research used uh, PET scans to measure brain activity in 47 participants when they had cell phones held to their ears in both off- and on but muted positions and found that exposure to in use cell phone for more than 50 minutes increased brain activity by about 7% in the regions close to the antenna. And it goes on that the wavelength, it's a microwave, it's a microwave relay system, that, that the microwave signal actually uh, vibrates at a frequency that breaks your DNA. And that's why there's so much evidence linking cell phones to brain cancer, but still I use them because it's so incredibly convenient. For years, I almost never used them, but in emergencies, I would keep one locked in my car and my desk and when I needed it or on a trip, when I absolutely had to have it, I did.